Right, this is the project today. A fellow at work has this. It's a, some kind of a hacking, chopping uh, blade, knife, and uh, it's very old. It's from Italy, um, and the handle has just deteriorated and, and fell apart. So he's asked me to make a new handle for it because he's got, it's got sentimental value now so I want to try and maintain a, a similar look as the handle that it had maybe the same kind of wood it looks like it was a piece of oak so I know I have some nice old oak which would be perfect for this job um, the only issue I have is this hook now the hook originally went into this like so, so that when you were using it, it didn't come flying off. So that's a little different. I've not seen that before. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna redo that somehow or make a new handle and maybe drill a couple of holes through it with some kind of a, um, a piece of steel that holds it in place. Uh, I know I'm gonna be using some epoxy but I want to try and maintain maintain some originality to it the way it was um, to the original craftsman. Okay, so let's find a piece of wood, get it cut up, and uh, see what we can do. So most of my wood is in this corner here, and I have a fair amount, and it's somewhat organized okay so this is the piece I think I'm gonna choose to use it's an old piece of red oak and it's actually got a big old crack down it but it's the same thickness as the handle and I think I can get a good piece out of it. And I know that this wood is, was cut down in the 1800s. This wood is from a barn that was built in the 1800s and uh, dismantled in the 1990s. And I acquired the wood about 10 years ago, five to 10 years ago. And I built a table that's upstairs from the same wood. And it's, it's quite, it's quite nice wood. It's got some pretty tight grain in the end of it. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to get a piece cut down to size. Okay, so I will just make a mark here. And we're just going to cut back in the uh, top saw. Okay, so I've just marked a general outline of this, and I'm going to take this over to the bandsaw now and cut that. I'm just going to adjust the height of my guide. Okay, this saw is having a little bit of a hard time with this. It is very hard wood, so I'm going to use my bigger band saw. Okay, 
Okay, so I've got it mounted on the lathe. Now this is the old one. And it used to have a ferrule, which would have been here somewhere, which is now completely broken. It's useless. I just happen to have a very similar one, which is in good condition. So I'm going to turn this end down to accommodate this ferrule. Okay, so I just need to uh, turn it down a little bit more to get the depth I need. Okay, that's perfect because that will get hammered on just slightly and there's little, uh, there's three little teeth in there that will uh, bite it. Okay, so I feel I can cut the corners off of this with the lathe, although it isn't intended to be round. Um, I can cut the corners off up to about here and then there's gonna be a lot of hand sanding. Okay, I feel that's enough with the lathe. This is my sanding disc that I made. I do need to make a new one because this one has developed a bit of a wobble as the faceplate is a block of 2x4 spruce which is not hardwood so hardwood would work better for sure. So I'm going to turn the shop back on and we'll speed this up.
Okay, so at this point, there it's getting somewhere, but I'm going to take the Dremel to it, I think, now. Okay, so at this point, pretty happy with the overall look of it. I'm going to thin this either side here though, bring it in, because the, the end is definitely not right. Okay, so I'm going to bring this in more here. I'm going to do that back on the lathe again. Okay, so I'm happy with the shape right now. It does need more sanding, but it's about the same. It's about the same size. It's about the same thickness. So it's going to work. Now, the only issue I'm having now is I'm deciding whether I need to cut this in half to hollow out, to put the blade in, to glue it back together, or do I drill down the center? But the issue is that this is a tapered flat bar. It's not round and it's not the same diameter all the way down. Now the way they had it before would be in like this somehow. So I could straighten this up I could drill a hole down the middle. This would not reach the end. So I'm, I'm in two thoughts and two minds what to do. So now I'm on the stage of hand sanding. So I'm going to start at 100 grit, hand sand it down, work my way all the way down the grits until I'm satisfied with the finish. Okay, so I've sanded this down to 600 grit. This is the old handle. I'm satisfied that it's uh, close enough to what the original looked like. So that's that gone. So there's the new handle. Now what I have to do is I want to apply a wipe on poly to this. And I also need to drill a hole in the end of it to accommodate the shaft of the blade. Now I think what I'm going to do is try and straighten this. If it snaps off, it's gone. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a pilot hole down the shaft of this and then a slightly bigger one and a slightly bigger one to accommodate this shaft. Uh, and then I'm going to epoxy it into the, end, into the handle. Um, and it's going to go that way so your grip will be correct okay so let's um let's get this hole drilled okay so the first thing i'm going to try and do is to see if i can straighten this up no absolutely not it is very brittle 
Now if I applied heat then I probably could, but I do not have the means. Okay, so that's just snapped, snapped right off. So I know this is very brittle steel. So I'm gonna just go ahead and drill my holes and uh, epoxy that in the handle. Okay, so I'm gonna drill this by hand. I've got various size drill bits. I'm gonna start with a very small drill bit just as a pilot hole and I'm gonna drill this purely by hand and I making sure to clear the wood out of the, the shavings out of the drill bit. And there it is finished, some kind of a hatchet, it's from Italy, um, a buddy of mine at work, Ricky Pellerin, it's a family heirloom of his, so the handle was well worn and used and broken, so I guess for four years it's been sitting in his garage and he wanted to get it fixed, so finally I got it fixed for him today. So if you like this project, please like and subscribe, I appreciate it, I'll put a couple of photos at the end, thank you.